previously on Steins Gate. The phone wave name so it's subject to change. Time machine. Is a time machine. Dun dun dun. Welcome back to Steins Gate. Hello everyone and welcome back to the beautiful game that is Steins Gate. Ah, it's been a long time since I played this because I had to try and finish Danganronpa first because it was conflicting with this kind of it was you know, kind of hard to do two games because you you know you do different voices for different characters so you know it's better to do one game do the whole voice because it's kind of confusing when you're recording so yeah we jump back into Steins Gate now. Uh, last time we left off, it was that uh, we, uh, we found out that the phone wave name sub subject to change was uh, is actually oh got notification <laughs> was actually um, you can send text messages text messages into the past, which what happened the first time at Radio Kai Ken when we saw Kuzuru die. Uh, Mikhazy Kuzuru. I, 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 is Kuzuru is how you say a name? I'm, I'm not sure, but you know I'm gonna stick with it for now. Because I got used to saying it, so oh, whoops, what's going on? There we are. <laughs> okay, and I've also uh, turned the turned the voices down because I, I realized that whenever when um when you listen to it, it's kind of weird. I know because the, the voices are funny, and uh, apparently they are really funny, but they kind of conflict. And I, I think it'd be better if it's just me doing the voices. It will look and sound better. So. Let me, let me see what you guys think. I'm gonna start back up. Oh, not start. I shouldn't have started. The dawn of a new day. Hang on a sec. It should be working now, yes? Okay. Uh, oh, whoops. <laughs> Here we go. Let's get back into it. The dawn of a new day. Actually, it's already noon. We didn't sleep at all. Sleep depri deprivation makes the stubborn sun seem more brighter, or the brighter. I really don't want to go outside, but I'm fed up with the humidity inside the lab. I took a bottle of Dr. P. Oh, does it mean Dr. Pepper? <laughs> Couple of right reasons. I'm not telling you it's Dr. Pepper. It's Dr. P in this world. My stomach protests. Maybe I drank too fast. I'm exhausted. My hands are shaking slightly, and my vision is cloudy. I could pass out if I'm not careful. Maybe I should take a shower. That should st uh, stop, uh, stave off exhaustion, if only oh, temporary. This building has a basic shower room. There's no bath, but it's enough. The lab would be hell without it. Oh. Daru is at his computer. His back, his back is turned towards me. His right leg is bouncing impatiently. The room is mostly silent, save, save for the elect electric fan hu humming and Daru's mouse clicks. Dara doesn't look my way, and he doesn't try to start a conversation. Neither do I. I don't have the energy. Outside is a sunny summer afternoon, but inside the air is stale and, and empty of life. Yesterday, that shocking experiment convinced me the phone wave name subject to change was also a time machine. But Kuzuru didn't seem willing to accept the results. She just, she just started screaming. Screaming? A time machine? Time machine! It can't be! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Didn't do the screaming. <laughs> then she took a mad dash out of the lab. <laughs> What's wrong with her? She's a weirdo. It was like she, it was like she couldn't get out get out of here fast enough. As for Moyuri, she was depressed about our chicken and bananas, so she quit skipped her daily costume so when I went home. Gorgeous of her food run deep, I guess. <laughs> do I have any this reminds me, do I have any messages I missed? Let's have a look. No, I had the last one. Right you, know, you know, can I can I call anyone? I remember I checked this last time. But apparently, you can call people at certain times, which is kind of weird. So I have to know the right time to call someone. So we'll 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 see when something comes up like that. Anyway, which leaves the lab empty, save for Darbu and me. Enthusiasm shot through the roof when we realized that, that, the, fo that the phone wave name sub subject to change had tremendous hidden potential. We nearly died of excitement after success successfully sending an email to the past. Apparently I can talk to thee. I can never talk! English is hard, you know. <laughs> so we stayed up all night doing experiments to confirm whether or not the phone wave name subject to change is indeed a time machine. The results, however, 
we went to the supermarket and stacked up on a wide variety of items and we tossed each of them into the phone with names so as to change, but everything failed. No change. Nothing happened. After the experiment, after the experiment with the discharge phenomenon, phenomenon <laughs> occurred, everything warmed up normally. No jellification. Suddenly, we couldn't get anything to happen. We still have no idea why. First, let's review the problems revealed by this last run of experiments. Problem one: electrical discharge safety precautions. We removed everything flammable from the, de the development development room to reduce the risk of fire. We also prepared two fire buckets full of water just in case. But that's not a fundamental solution. We keep an eye out from now on, but if things get dangerous, we should seriously consider relocating our experiments. Problem two: mass increase. When the discharge phenomenon occurs, the phone wave name su subject to change suddenly gains mass for unknown reasons. Because of this, the microwave broke the table and made a dent in the floor. Oh, so that's what happened. Hmm, weird. To deal with the issue, we placed the microwave on the floor. We spread cushions and blankets underneath to, to hide the holes in the floor too. <laughs> no, there's nothing there. There's no holes. It's only a temporary fix though. If we make any more holes, Mr. Braun is quite capable of raising my rent. <laughs> and that's to say nothing of the calamity it will cause if it falls through the floor. Anyway, we need to find the source of the mass increase, if amateurs like us can even can, that is. But the first two problems pale. Oh wait, the first two problems pale before the third. This last prob problem is critical. Until we solve it, we can't even really experiment with a phone wave name subject to change. Problem number three. We are not even sure of the necessary conditions to send emails to the past. Well, email to the past. No, ha no matter how many times we tried, we couldn't pin down a single condition. We spent the entire night doing trial and error. We tried over 40 different things, but not once could we reproduce the discharge phenomenon. I had the idea that opening the microwave door was the key. That theory was proven false. There might be something else I'm missing, but for now, we're at an impasse. We started off in high spirits, but grew more and more frustrated as time progressed. Progressed, which brings us to the present. Honestly, I gave up. That's why I spent the entire morning lazing about like this. God damn you, home camera! Oh, another email pops up on my phone. Tiny finger. <laughs> you sleep too much. I haven't got a reply yet. Are you still asleep? You still too much. You sleep too much, Okabe Khan. <laughs> you look like an old man. Well, I guess I'm not the one to talk, come on. Anyway, let me know when you have something on the IBN 5100, please, please. Moeke. See, now, can I call Moeke, maybe? No, I can not. Okay, good to know. Oh. I keep doing that, because it automatically puts the mouse onto where the phone is when I'm getting off it, so... You know, I can't help it. Another email pops up on my phone. I've been getting way too many of these these since yesterday. The all from Shining Finger. The woman called Kiryu. Wait, Kiryu Moeka. I've never used email this often before. <laughs> Even Mayuri only says sends me one one or two a day, and she's a teenage girl. Frankly, this is starting to get my nerve. Get on my nerves. I saw how fast Shining Finger typed. This should have been enough to tip me off that she was a male demon. I was careless. God damn you, demons! Too much of a pain to reply, so I, I ignore it. I just ignore it. I just don't even care. <coughs> I finished my bottle of Dr. P. My stomach gurgles. Uh. Miyuri! Miyuri's spending money is getting dear, dangerously low. You and Darwin need to chip in too sometimes. You don't want to get between me and my food. Hmm. <laughs> That's a bit harsh, Okabe. You eat too much anyway. Go on and die before it's too late. I don't know if I'm gonna do that one. Can I can I change my mind? I guess not. I guess I have to send it. I do know what I'm gonna send. It says food and a chick. Okay. She's probably mad at me. Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> I'm so hungry, I don't even feel like showering. I think I didn't think I said that last one very well. <laughs> I call out to Daru who's hammering on the keyboard. Hey, wanna go to Sambo for some people? Nah, 
Too much trouble. Aren't you hungry? Yeah, but... Hmm, you're such a bum. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what is doing on the computer anyway? <laughs> I think they, uh, they messed up there. <laughs> what is Daru doing on the computer anyway? I'm curious, so I casually peek over his shoulder. What the heck? There's a person standing there. <laughs> the heck is this? There's an image of a futuristic looking facility. A uh, facility, yes. I've never seen before. Yes, that's the right word. Facility, not faculty. <laughs> Richard colored cores crawl through the gigantic octagon tunnel like the interior of a spaceship from a sci-fi music movie. Based on the height of the people in the picture, the tunnel looks to be more than 10 meters tall. What is that? It's so weird. Incidentally, the people don't look Japanese. Is it European? Ha! Huh. Daru's sighs hardly. Don't know if the blank look in his eyes is from sleepiness, exhaustion, or if something's just wrong with him. <laughs> the Large Hadron Collider shirt is cute. Oh, that's the Large Hadron Collider. I've heard of it. I've heard of it. It's like this big physics crap that it's like 20 crate time machines. What? What? What did you say? Large heart, <laughs> heart on calendar. <laughs> Is that an incantation? No, a secret technique. Large hadron collider. You don't know about it? I get. Uh, I I grab Dara's relaxed soldiers and ring them out. Ah! Oh, 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 what are you doing? Are you conscious? Of course, man. What is this Large Hadron Collider thing? You you know, it's what CERN uses to, uh, uses to do their experiments. LHC for short. It's seriously my way recommended. <laughs> You're lusting for something that's not even humanoid? <laughs> of course not, but there's something about it that gets me excited. You know, it makes me smile, you know. Don't you feel that? Come to think of it, I remember you said you found that. You found a faculty... Uh, Factories and the undersides of highways irresistible or something. <laughs> what? The undersides of highways? Why would that make you excited? Yeah, same thing. Where does it end? 2D, 3D, and even animate in animated objects. Life's too short. I don't want it to limit, limit my interest, you know. <laughs> I might change Okabe's voice because it doesn't sound like a. Cause it sounds too normal. Can't do a normal voice. I've got to do something different. Let me think quickly right there. Hmm. He's got something to sound crazy. He's got something crazy. Let me think. Okay. And yet you'll do anything to avoid these uh, avoid things that don't interest you, hypocrite. <laughs> CERN? That name. I've seen it somewhere and recently. Where was it again? Oh of course! John Teeter. Oh, yes, John Teeter said. <laughs> oh, yeah, that guy you mentioned earlier. He's the guy at channels going crazy about, isn't he? That one might be an impo uh, imposter. I wasn't talking about the John Teeter who appeared 10 No, I was talking about John Teeter who appeared 10 years ago. He appeared 10 years ago, the same guy. I had hoped that Daru would remember, but no such luck. Anyway, John Teeter mentioned CERN. I remember all of it, but there's one thing I'm sure of. Teeter made a prediction, namely that before the year 2034, CERN would develop a time machine. A time machine? That's a timely topic. But that that was that But that wasn't just ten years ago. This new Teeter said the same thing. It doesn't matter if it, if it, if it was ten years ago or ten seconds ago. It's not the that's not the point, Daru! This coincidence could very well be the choice of Steins Gate. The name of the game that we're playing right now. Yes, this game. <laughs> Can we trust this cheater guy? It doesn't matter if we trust him or not. Now we have something in common. A time machine. We should investigate soon. We have got nothing to lose. Bigger returns to my body. Curiosity truly is the greatest delicacy for a mad scientist like me. <laughs> Anyway, the phone wave named something subject to change. Experiment has hit a dead end for now, so it shouldn't make it matter if I made a little detour for this. Tell me everything you know about CERN. Shh, 
sure thing. My CERN folder is smoking hot. Daru strikes his keys with renewed pass passion. He goes to my pictures folder and opens a folder and literally called CERN. CERN is the world's largest particle physics research institution. Its popularity it's popularity it's popularity called the European Laboratory of Particle Physics or the European Organization of Nuclear Research. It's close to the border of Switzerland and France, on the outskirts of Geneva. It's famous as the birthplace of HT, HTML, HTTP, and the World Wide Web. The World Wide Web? You mean the internet? Bingo, that thing at the beginning of most URLs. CERN invented that? All I know about CERN is what, what I read to you this book. I never knew they were that amazing. Most people aren't aware, but there's a Japanese research team working on at CERN too. What sort of research does CERN do? I sound like a talker right there. <laughs> Particle physics mostly. CERN can do experiments no one else can because they have the biggest particle accelerators in the world. The biggest. The biggest. The biggest. The low energy and anti-proton ring. The proton uh, synchrotron booster. The large electron Positron Collider and the big boss is the large accelerator in the world, the LHC, the Large Hadron Collider Tan. <laughs> Collider Tan. <laughs> Tan? <laughs> Taku possesses the ability to anthropomorphize. Anthrom anthrom I can't say. Anthropomorphize. I can't say that. This is such a long word. In Moe form, just about anything in the, <laughs> in the world simply stick by sticking tan on the end of his name. Dara powers encompass even particle accelerators. Dara doesn't seem to notice my shock, or well, he just brings up the next image. <laughs> the LHC is a 27 kilometer long circular tunnel built underneath CERN's headquarters. Its purpose is to smash protons together in a hope they are creating unknown element elementary particle reactions. They started experimenting last year. Okay, I just uh, did the thing for the text. Maybe go faster now. We'll see. Oh, here we are. Better. Before they started, there were rumors that the experiments might create mini black holes. Oh no, those mini black holes will swallow the Earth. The universe is in danger, etc. Mini black holes. I'm pretty sure Tudor said this. Said said his time machine used mini black holes. Are the things he said about certain true? What's the possibility of, of that actually happening? 100% that it won't. CERN officially denies it. Okay, because uh, that actually happened in real life, I'm sure. It is real. <laughs> it's real to me, damn it. Did that actually happen? I remember this, this Switzerland, those crane black holes. I remember, I remember this recently as well. I think it was 2012, wasn't it? I'm not sure. Was it 2010? I can't remember. <laughs> Let's say a mini black hole was formed. The amount of energy would be so tiny that it would disappear instantly upon formation. It would be impossible for it to swallow the world. Oh, so that yeah, that makes sense, really. But where the where the smoke, there's fire. And my dog's barking. Hey, Angel, not that man, yeah. Hey. Oh, if I remember, if I remember correctly, I missed that. What the heck did I just do? Really? If I remember correctly, Tita came uh, claimed that CERN began time machine research in 2001. 2034, they complete the time machine. Right now it's 2010. Oh, so it's 2010. It must have been 2010 then. If, if they actually started that research, it would have been nine years ago. Okay. <laughs> According to the official announcements, they only began experimenting in 2008. That's suspicious. Of course, it's assuming Tita's story is true. Some of Tita's predictions were on the mark, but most weren't. I'm also perplexed by how 
but how everyone all around me seems to have forgotten about Tita's 2000 appearance. Something important in Tita's tale, or at least I want there to be. I take out my phone and put it to my ear. It's me. <laughs> Don't be surprised, I've sniffed out an evil conspiracy. John Teeter, Sharon, you see where I'm going with this? Yes. That's right. They're likely connected to the organization. Hmm. Coincidence? Come now, don't disappoint me. What? Evidence? Well, if you must know... Whispers of my mad scientist intuition. Those bastards are trying to destroy the world. Yeah, with mini black holes. But... But what if we were to steal that technology? What then? <laughs> yeah, of course. Who do you think I am? Everything is, cho is the choice of Stein's gate. L. Psy. Conklin. I put, my, put away my phone, then turn to Doris, give me a such a look. Just who the hell are you fighting with? <laughs> Doro, I know what we must do. What was that? <laughs> Don't you, was that me? You're supposed to grin like you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. What kind of super hacker are you? I wanted to say something like, well, what the hell not? So, what's in it for me? <laughs> and then we continue like this, grinning slily the whole time. Me, <laughs> a, a week's worth of potato chips. Ten days. Hmm, <laughs> you sure are glutton. The dive makes you a hungry man. Deal, get started. You got it, boss. <laughs> or something like that, yeah, a really cool conversation. <laughs> But the real world Daru just purses his lips. You always give such a path based explanation. Try to sound in in intelligible before you try to sound intelligent. Work with me here, dammit! <laughs> You're a super hacker! <laughs> Stop saying hacker. Stop saying hacker. It's, it's at least saying hacker. See where I'm going with this? No, not at all. <laughs> Hack into CERN. Oh. Dar stares at me in disbelief. In disbelief. Is that some kind of joke? <laughs> I know you can do it, Daru. Expose that destiny deeds and find any hints you can do about the time machine. Destiny deeds? You're just imagining that stuff, Ocarine. We stand at crossroads. With the, will the phone wave name for something to change become a functional time machine? Or will it die as a garbage in the lab storage? You are serious? I'm always serious. I look Dara straight in the eye as I answer. Looks like I, that made him understand my position. Dara sweeps the garbage off his desk and sees, uh, sits up straight. I'm not as responsible for the consequences, can it? Suddenly Dara is bursting with energy. It's like his earlier uh, lethargy was a lie. What? Lethar? RG? Lethargy? I think it's lethargy. Was a lie. Deal. Get started. I guess it went the way I've planned it. <laughs> Let's do this. For your payment, I'll, I'll deposit, uh, dis deposit a week supply of potato chips into your Swiss bank account. Dara doesn't respond. He's already deep in concentration. Anyway, I'm gonna sleep. It's all yours. <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed. I don't care. <laughs> I lie down on the sofa and let the clacking of Dara's keyboard lure me to sleep. I wake up and I got 20 million email addresses. Yes, I have. Let's have a look. Oh, it's Ferris! <clears throat> Original Sin never rising to 108%! Hyoma, when operating the Monday world, you're supposed to be discreet here! Oh. You don't want them to, 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 to notice you. Uh, remember, the summoning has taken 2,000 years to prepare. If it fails, everything will be ruined. Although I suppose that might make things interesting, Yan Yan. Hmm. Let's read that. Are you suggesting that I, the great Halloween Kiyoma, ride and hide? You risk, you risk my eerie cat girl. Yes. Send that shit. Yes. Oh, what? I didn't do that. Get up! <laughs> I wake up to the twilight sun streaming in through the window. A refreshing breeze blows in, sloppily brushing my cheek. Dora's exactly where I left him before I fell asleep. He's sitting in exactly the same position. 
Not much has changed beside his typing speed. Oh, and now he's muttering to himself. I guess he hasn't had any successes hack at hacking yet. I'm looking around the room, but I can't find my Yuri. Maybe she's not coming today. You probably made a mad ogre bay. You did steal her bananas and chicken. <laughs> uh, did he say this before? Deja vu. <laughs> I guess food-related grudges really do really do run deep. I stand up and stretch. I don't want to bother Daru, so don't say anything. I call Dr. P out of the fridge and quench my thirst. Then I throw myself back down onto the sofa and start browsing that channel on my phone. What perfect timing! Cheetah is currently posting in the thread. <sighs> okay, here we go. Cheater. The Everett Wheeler model is correct. Please look it up and learn more. It seems you're, cl you're all still clinging to pre preconceived notions of time. Time does not simply run from past to future like a car or on a one-way street. To be more suspicious, uh, suspic God damn it, I can't talk! <laughs> you okay, Cheater? <laughs> no, I'm not okay. Shut up. Time does not. Oh wait. To be more specific, the laws of casualty. Is it casualty? Yeah. Do not allow contradiction to occur. The result of an event is the effect is changed. The event itself, the cause, also changes to prevent a paradox. That's why there's so few people who can change, who can observe changes in divergence. Divergence being the word line percent difference from the standard. Ditro, you claim to be a time tra time traveler with any proof? <laughs> Stop <Stock> it. <tra> <laughs> Dark trends, please. I'm calling you, Mr. Time Traveler. Well, you sound weird. <laughs> Kuri Gohan and Kamehameha. <laughs> and anime related. Uh, uh, if you can't observe, observe changes in divergence, then how can you possibly measure it? Oh, I know. Your time machine has a magical device that measures it measures it for you. La la. Oh, and you have and you still have an expert how research institution conquers the world details blocks. <laughs> oh no, it's humanity's doomed! What has science done that, Jake Pig? Love, Neves responding seriously to the troll thread. This ticket guy's got a shitty troll. <laughs> oh, they going to your Don't you have anything to offer besides insults? How about con contributing to the discussion? Feeling scum. Do you assume that time doesn't flow in a straight line? And the idea of time travel is much easier to swallow. Oh. In such a scenario, a time machine traveling to the past doesn't need to fight against the flow of time. I say Cheetah's points have merit. By the way, Cheetah, I'd like to know about know more about CERN. What can you tell us about their current activities? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> tell me which horse wins the next Emperor Cup, dude! <laughs> I bet my life to a left hand it! <laughs> Ever will model many many worlds interpretation. Basically, that means parallel words. Worlds. Uh. <laughs> What's all these stupid name tags? This Hoin Kilmer is more annoying than Teeter. <laughs> hey, fuck you, man. <laughs> you call yourself John Teeter, but you're fluent in Japanese. Writing in English w would at least make it seem more realistic. You can't do English, can you? Well, I, apparently I am, but apparently I'm not. <laughs> in both ways. Keep. What? Can I ask you a favor, Tita San? My mom died, died last year in a Shibuya, Shibuya earthquake. If, my, if I stop my mom from leaving home, then I can undo her death. So please let me your time machine! <laughs> At reply 2235, there's nothing else to me, is it? You gonna believe this time travel lol without proof? Are you an idiot? Oh, it's not over yet. <laughs> No one seems particularly interested in what I said about time not flowing in a single direction. That's proof that your preconceptions are deeply ingrained. Honestly, it bothers me that you simply accept, accept that as a truth. I'm starting to understand why CERN was able to take over so easily. Wow. Basically the same with idiots. <laughs> Whenever a major event occurs to divergence and change, the timeline is reconstructed to prevent paradoxes from occurring. For example, let's say that, ma that major event causes the world line to diverge into a new world line. Let's call it world, world line B. And world line B, I'm afraid to say, at channel never existed. I'm guessing. Why is it like cut out? <laughs> it's a bit weird. <laughs> never excited, everyone. <laughs> As the timeline is reconstructed, all your memories of reading and, and posting on at channel will disappear to be replaced by memories of, of you doing something else. In other words, by changing the present, you change the past. I wrote about CERN yesterday. The only thing I can say is that 
you must not believe their lies. They have already succeeded at creating micro black holes. <laughs> Reply to Curry Gohan and Kamehameha Mea 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 Kamehameha Is that you Goku? <laughs> I desire only to quit my intellectual, intellectual thirst And like you close my schools I will reserve my judgment, and judgment until after I've heard what Tita has to say And then I will make contact with Tita and quiet his time machine for myself The great man scientist Who in Kiyoma will have the last thought Last See, suck it, these bags. <laughs> tell me, stop, crazy, so fucking die! I won't believe you, just tell me, dude! <laughs> Get out of here, Hakure. No, man, no! <laughs> Oh. Okay. That's, that's not, okay, that's not reconstructing the world, you idiot. That's altering people's memories. Who the hell could alter memories of nearly 6.7 billion people? Do you realize how stupid that, that sounds? I think I would have noticed if someone went and screwed with my brain. And, and what does any of that have to do with any with the mo many worlds interpretation? Do some research, lol. Micro black, black holes, lol, 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 lol. Wait, the future's a wasteland. That means I could be a rover and ride a mod mod buggy, right? <laughs> I'm gonna get <a> mohawk. <laughs> Is that reference to uh, Mad Max or something, like that? <laughs> Anyone know where I can buy spiked shoulder pads? <laughs> I've checked someone's homepage, and it, it says they've been experimenting since 2009. Can they, can they rely? Or can they really make black holes? What the hell's gonna happen? <laughs> Does Jid have a mohawk? God, that's fucking my way. <laughs> Are you implying, implying our brains make the world? Are you saying the universe is a giant tree, and, and we're the branches or something? There's some. Uh, even level bullshit right there. Go back to 2036. Is this you, uh, how you reply to a, a specific person? Thank you for showing me. Reconstruction of a timeline and alteration of people's memories. I think they're essential, essentially the same thing. Why are you are so intent on saying they're different? With few, ex few exceptions, nobody can, can keep their memories across world lines. They reconstruct it along with everyone else and when divergence changes. What's a role warrior? <laughs> Never mind that. Uh, anyone home? Don't know who this is, Miyuri. Anyone home? I'm immersed in a heated internet argument with an unfamiliar voice that in interrupts me. A oh, when an unfamiliar voice. Oh. The door opens and a girl peeks inside. I recognize her. It's a girl I met yesterday at the Braun True Workshop. Hi, I'm from the Braun Tree Workshop. When our eyes meet, she smiles. The, the TV I... Uh, wait, you get one voice. Mm. The TV you're sending for repairs has been fixed. Am I picking it up? <laughs> Dara's typing it even... Uh, hey, Dara's typing gets even faster. Let's exit in the zone. It would be a bad idea to disturb with our, vo with our voices. And not to the girl. Hurry outside. <laughs> Why do we have to be sneaky? Hmm. What's with this girl's? Well, what was this girl's name again? I think it was someone like a rumor or a more. Oh, that's it. Oh, right. Amane. Amane Suzaha. Currently, my genius partner in crime is executing an important mission. I don't want to bother him. Hmm. What exactly do you guys do? I told you before. I told you before that learning that secrets could put you and you and everyone you know in grave danger. <laughs> you called the future gadget laboratory, right? <laughs> How'd you know that? I never told you. Wait, are you an organization spy? I raise my guard. Let's bring you to a praying mantis dance. Hoo <laughs> But Suzaha just stares blankly. That's what it said in your mailbox. Oh. <laughs> I lower my guard. Why didn't, she <laughs> Why didn't she say so? Now, now you know. It's not like you just unknow. I give you the short explanation. We not, must not tell a soul. Suzaha nods firmly. Is it just me or her, or are her eyes gleaming? We are the Future Gadget Laboratory, dedicated to defeating the evil organization that rules the world from the shadows. Mwah! Wow, you're cuckoo, man. <laughs> 
Is the evil organization CERN? How the frick did you know that? <laughs> yeah, but... Oh, so I was right, they, they, those guys really are a contemptible lot, aren't they? Oh, didn't do that. Right. She, she nods to herself for some reason. A contemptible? I thought I was the only one who uses words like that in no conversation. How did you know we were hacking to CERN? <laughs> what? You're hacking them right now? Me and my big mouth. God damn it. God damn you, Okabe. <laughs> Just answer my question. How did you know about our business with CERN? Um, well... Well, uh, actually, I only heard you in this afternoon. If you stand here, you can hear stuff from the window. The window? Come to think of it, it was open, and Daru and I were talking loudly. <laughs> Imagine it. Daru, I want you to hack into CERN! Roger that! <laughs> can you really hear us from up there? I look up to the second floor. The window's still fully open. Not on the screen, it's not, but you know. <laughs> but I can't hear a thing. I guess Dara's working quietly. Ugh. Excuse me. <laughs> I look down. There's an unfamiliar bicycle parked in front of the Broad True workshop. One of those mountain bikes, his frame is all sparkly. His tire's mostly clean. It's probably new. It looks pretty fast, but whose is it? I've been working here for a day, but I'm guessing it's hers. Suzuha opens the brown tube workshop door with a weary, weary smile. Oh. I've got a lot more free time than, expect than I expected. I've gone out four or five times today. Figured I'd uh, reconnoitre the front of the store, see if I see if I can spot any customers. Speed it. I gotta do her voice properly because it doesn't sound right. It's kind of sound like kind of Manakuma kind of, but a little bit less like that. <laughs> Reconnoiter? Now there's a word you don't hear in a casual conversation. Pretty sure it means to perform renaissance to scan an aerial and gather intelligence. She kind of some, is she some kind of secret agent? <laughs> I follow Suzuha into the store. Uh. Guys, I'm gonna have to leave it off for here. Unfortunately, I couldn't record uh, that long. I had to record a little bit. So, um, yeah, sorry about it. I wish we could carry on, but I had to stop here right now. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, me coming back to the Science Gate. I actually really enjoyed it before I left it, but you know, I kind of had to leave it. You know the reason. But I'm, I'm glad I'm coming back onto Science Gate. It, I know that it's a long game, so I may have to stop sometime because you know that I've got an Elgato right now. So. If you know, for example, new games come out, I might have to record them instead of you guys, because I'm sure you guys won't mind just going on a little hiatus for a while while I do that, and I'll probably come back later. But I don't know when that's going to be, but we'll see. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!